Hey everyone, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel where I love teaching you style tips and solutions because when you look good, you feel good. Today is a continuation of my body shape series and we are gonna talk about how to dress and flatter your inverted triangle body shape. If you missed my video on how to measure yourself to figure out what your body shape is, you're gonna wanna check that one out first. I have linked it up above as well as down below in my description. This is a great video in case you don't know what your body shape is or in case you still have some questions. So go check that one out first. I am assuming if you are still here, you know that you are an inverted triangle body shape. So welcome. Today we are gonna talk about what it means to be an inverted triangle. Different celebrities that you can identify with so that you can Google them and say, hey, yeah, I love what they're wearing, or no, I need to avoid that. We are also going to talk about your styling goals. And most importantly, the meat of this is talking about what clothes look good on you, which ones are best to fit and flatter your inverted triangle body shape, and which ones to avoid, the ones that we need to bench and just not ever wear. So let's get into this. What does it mean to have your body shape? Essentially, your shoulders are going to be the broadest or the widest part of your body. You may also have a larger bust, and then your waist and your hips are going to be the most narrow. So if you were to look at a mirror, it would have this obvious silhouette of that inverted triangle. This is also the most athletic looking body shape. This is one where a lot of women train to get your body shape. The biggest concern that I hear from women is all about your shoulders. Because they are broader, some women feel that they are a little masculine looking. And you know what? I am also broader in the shoulders, and so I hear you. I hear what you are saying. So we are gonna go over some ways to make your shoulders appear less broad. First, I like to give a visual reference for those who are visual learners like myself. So let's talk about a couple celebrities who share your inverted triangle body shape. And that would be Reese Witherspoon, Renee Zellweger, Charlize Theron, and Jessica Simpson. If you do a Google search of inverted triangle body shapes, so many pictures will pull up and you can have a really good look at what is working, what is maybe not working, and ways that you can incorporate that into your wardrobe. As we go about your power pieces, the ones that just like really work or really don't, I want you to be able to keep in mind these two general styling goals. These are things that you want to achieve as you are styling your body. The first goal has to do with your shoulders because you are broader on top. You want to avoid clothing that is going to enhance or embellish or enlarge your shoulders. The next goal is going to help us create this visual proportion. And so in order to do that, we are gonna to want to enhance our hips and our legs and make them appear wider than they actually are. And this will give you a really nice balanced silhouette. All right, now this part is what you really came for. Let's get into the meat of this, and that is what clothes are gonna fit and flatter you. And let's start at the top with your tops. Because we may feel very aware of our strong shoulders, we're gonna want to avoid bringing attention to them. So darker colors and smaller prints are gonna help you achieve that. Let me say that there is definitely a place for a strong masculine looking shoulder. And I love that look. If you want to look more authoritative or in control, then play those shoulders up with shoulder pads, with embellishments, anything that will make them appear more broad. Now, if you are trying to soften your shoulders and make them appear less broad, then here are your power pieces. Typically with tops, we're gonna to wanna to be bringing the eye inward, not out. So a V or a U neck is going to help achieve this look. Strapless or asymmetrical tops are also going to achieve the same goal. Now let's talk about sleeves. A longer sleeve or a three quarter length sleeve is going to be the most flattering on you because it just kind of skims over this angle, which is the angle that we want to diminish, right? Now that being said, you are not gonna wanna wear a long sleeve in the middle of summer. So sleeves that are gonna look really good on you and still help minimize the look of your shoulders will be a drop shoulder, a kimono, or a raglan tee. Anything that extends that seam longer and brings the eye down. Softer, drapier fabrics are also your friend, not only because they skim over your shoulder, but because they won't define your waistline. And because it's more loose, you can't really tell if your shoulders are broader than your waist or not. A shirt that is going to look really good on you are peplum tops. And that is where you're cinched in a little at the waist, but then flare out. So that is going to enhance your waist and your thighs and just give a little bit more balance to your proportions. Tops that you are going to want to avoid 
is anything that is going to draw attention or accentuate your shoulders. So stay away from the puff sleeves, from the extreme detailing, and just the strong shoulder look. Off the shoulder necklines and boat necklines are also something that you're gonna to wanna to avoid. This is because it draws this horizontal line across your body and will visually elongate your shoulders. Also, if you wear jacket or button ups a lot, you don't want anything that has a very wide or strong lapel or collar because once again, it brings the eye outward. Since we are keeping it more simple on top, the bottoms are where you can have a lot of fun. This is where you bring in your prints, your dimension, your pocket, your detailing, you name it. This is where you really play it up. Since you are broader on top, in order to create that visual balance, you're gonna to wanna to flare out on bottom. Lucky for you, that gives you tons of options when it comes to your pants and your jeans. Here are a few of your power pieces. Wide leg trousers, boyfriend jeans, palazzo pants, anything that kind of gives you movement on bottom is perfect for you. And it's also really great because they're gonna look really sexy on you by giving you this visual hourglass silhouette. You can also add lots of details on bottoms, like horizontal stripes. Not many body types can get away with that. You can also do pockets and distressing and lighter colors, big patterns, like go crazy. You will want to avoid anything that is too tight, like leggings or skinny jeans. That said, if you want a slim jean alternative, then look more for a straight legged pant or a cigarette pant. These will look a lot more flattering on you than a skinny jean. Now, you lucky duck, because you are a trimmer in your waist and your hips, you most likely have killer legs. So let's play those up in dresses and skirts. A full or flared or A-line dress are going to look really good on you. These will add volume to your lower half, which will balance you out. Remember, this is all just about tricking the eye and creating these visual proportions. If you want to wear a pencil skirt, make sure that it drops down at your waist and doesn't come in at your knees. That will be the most flattering option. You will want to avoid bodycon dresses, that is short for body conscious dresses. Those are dresses that are just really tight and form fitting to every part of your body. You will also want to avoid really tight skirts. Now let's talk about accessories because I love them and they can just make or break any outfit. But you want to remember that with your accessories to be bringing the eye in and down. To achieve this, long pendant necklaces, cocktail rings, cool bracelets. These are all really good options because they bring the eye in and down. Belt bags or fanny packs are also functional and trendy and also a really great piece on you because it brings the eye down. Do you see where we're going here? Crossbody bags will also achieve the same look. When it comes to shoes, you can have as much fun with statement shoes or chunky heels as you want. Bring in the patterns, bring in the textures or the bright colors because we want to be drawing the eye downward. So shoes are a great way to do that. All right, my inverted triangle ladies, we have talked about what it means to be an inverted triangle. Different celebrities that you can pull inspiration from, your general styling goals, and most importantly, your power players, the ones that you are gonna to want to really incorporate into your wardrobe. I hope that as you are getting dressed, you feel more confident and comfortable in things that will fit and flatter your body. If you enjoyed this video, please like it down below and subscribe. And if you see that little bell next to the subscribe button, push that, then you will be notified every time I release a new video. Thank you for listening and I will see y'all soon. Bye.